how to change a crank sensor on a Mercedes ML320. I'm Brian Essek from How To Automotive. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, that. to get started, what we need to do is remove the top engine cover here. And uh, they're just held on by rubber grommets underneath the underneath here. And uh, they can get tight. And as you can see, this one's already cracked. So when you do this, you wanna be careful. But the way you do it is just get your hands underneath, kind of like so, and, and lift it and fry up on them. And it'll pop off. And you can remove the cover like that and set aside. Okay, so the crank sensor is going to be on the driver's side, on the back of the back behind here. It's going to be on the bell housing. So I'll try to get the camera down there where you can see it. Get down there, and you can see it down there on the back of the transmission where it bolts up right there. So the tool setup that I like to use to do this is a um, E8 female Torx, and then I like to use a wobbly, and then a, a pretty a far, fairly long extension. And I like to take the bolt out and leave the wire plug still connected. So as you can see, my extension is really long, and it fits right down in there, and it fits right onto this, the bolt. And you can just go ahead and loosen the bolt from up here. Now that you got the sensor uh, unbolted, you can just Pull it out by hand and now when it's up here up here you can see the squeeze tab on it and go ahead and sque uh, squeeze the tab i like to do is to put it in my palm of my hand and push and pull the the connector in towards it with one hand and then take the uh the squeeze tab and push it with my thumb and then once you get the squeeze tab pushed all the way down it'll clear that little little notch and then you can pull the sensor off and it comes off easier and what I like to do when I go to pull it off is use my both hands, one hand to pull and one hand to hold the electrical connector, try not to pull from the wires. So what you do is you take your new sensor, plug it in like this, and then now you can, with your hand, just reach back there and ins install it back into its slot in the hole where it came out of. So after you do that, what I like to do is I take the, uh, a piece of paper and stuff it in the socket and it's put the, the bolt in the socket and that way you can hold it upside down or like that and it won't fall off so now you can feed it in there and start your bolt and tighten that down so after installing the sensor go ahead and reinstall your cover engine cover and um, clear your check engine light and go for a test drive and that's how you change the crank sensor on a, a mercedes ml320 it also works on the 350 and uh, i'm brian essick from how to automotive I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos and remind you to subscribe